Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so that you can have better relationships. I'd like to start as usual by saying a very big thank you. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. I really, really appreciate you because you're helping us spread the message farther faster. So thank you very much indeed. And for everyone that has joined my Tommy Talks Marriage Masterclass group on Facebook, I really appreciate it because it feels like a family there where I get to share things that I don't share anywhere else. So if you haven't yet joined, I really encourage you to join. It's the Tommy Talks Marriage Masterclass Facebook group. And if you join or if you ask to join, I will admit you into the group. Now today I'm going to be taking another one of your questions and it goes like this. I have been in a relationship for over four years. At first, I didn't know her blood genotype was SS. I got to find out when we went to the clinic for treatment. On finding out, I didn't really blame her for not telling me because I understand the stigma. I decided to put the issue in prayer, trusting God for a miracle. But to my greatest shock, I did a genotype test and it says that I am AS. All this while, I had thought I was AA, so that even if we got married, there would be no health issues. But now that I am AS and she is ASS, um, what do I do? So you are AS and she is SS, so you're asking, what do you do? Hmm. I have to say that, you know, this, this question really, really touches my heart. It really does because, you know, it speaks to the, you know, the heart of one of the, you know, the challenges that, you know, a lot of people are going through at this point in time who find that maybe, um, you know, they have this SS genotype and it's really, really difficult knowing the, the, the health challenges that are associated with that. Now, I have to say that I absolutely believe in miracles, 100%. I believe in miracles and I know that God is able to do exceedingly abundant abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Um, so I believe that, you know, healing miracles are possible and I have seen, you know, healing miracles and all that. So I know that, um, you know, God is able to heal. But when it comes to the actual specific question you're asking in terms of, you know, whether or not to still get married or, or you know, what you should do, I have to say, first of all, that, you know, I really appreciate where you're coming from because I can tell that you really, really care for her. You know, you, you really love her, you know, and the perspective from which you're coming on, coming from is not, you know, the issue of, okay well this is a stigma you know and I'm not going to get married to help you know you're really concerned and all that um, but I, it, as to the question of whether or not you should get married well if you you both are convinced that you have found love you know and you absolutely want to get married to each other then I would say absolutely fine if you're not planning to have your own biological children right so if you're prepared to you know get married you know and just basically have you know a lovely marriage and you know adopt children because you know there, there are lots of children out there who are looking for you know family to care for them and to love them you know children who are in difficult situations who you know you could adopt and you know people adopt children and they actually grow up with you know with the family and they have you know a wonderful family and it's not an issue so if you're prepared to go down that route then I would say absolutely fine you know if you both you know are convinced that you have found love but if you want to have, you know, biological children, then I would say I would strongly recommend that you think about it very, very seriously. Because, you see, it's one thing for, you know, to deal with potential health issues that she might have, you know, as, as, as your, your, your wife and all that, you know, and working through all of that and supporting her through that. It's a completely different thing to bring children into the world who might potentially have health issues that they did not ask for in the first place. Because, you see, if you have ever been around a family where, you know, Maybe one of the parents is, is SS, you know, and because of that, um, you know, and maybe the other one is AS. And because of that, they've got, you know, one or two or three children who have, you know, the SS genotype and maybe have, you know, constant medical crisis and all that. It's a painful, very, very painful place to be. It's a difficult thing, you know, to go through. And I would really say that, you know, before you take the step of actually doing that sort of thing, you need to think about it very, very seriously indeed. So what am I saying? If you have found love and you're convinced that you have found love, then consider you know not having children you know at all and you know and, and do what you need to do medically to ensure that you, you don't have children biological children until it is clear 
that there has actually been a, a miracle, you know, and all that, and, and she's been healed before you actually consider having children at all, you know, and then, you know, adopt children and you can still have, you know, a wonderful marriage, a wonderful family um, that way. So that's what I would suggest. But if you really want to have biological children, but I would, then I would say that you've really got to think about it um, very seriously. I hope this has helped you. If this has helped you, then please leave me a message on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube. And if you've got a question you would like me to answer, then head on over to tomitalks.com forward slash ask and I'll answer your question next time. See you next time. Bye bye.